Everyone says to start these videos with a hook. So here we go. So last year in 2021, I claimed 290 euro in tax back. And in 2020, I claimed 190 euro in tax back. And these were from two simple returns. And I am going to show you how you can claim tax back too. So Hello, my name is Ellie and this is Planning and Finances and my channel is all about how to manage your household, how to manage your money, uh, your bills, your tax back revenue and that's what I'm talking about today, tax back from revenue. So as I said at the start, €290 Euro in 2021 and €170 Euro in 2020. 2020. So that mightn't seem like a lot to you. But you know what it is? That is money in my pocket that I got. If I hadn't have made those two claims, I wouldn't have seen that money at all. And I, I rather that money than revenue have that money. And my saying here on my channel is never leave money on the table. So the two claims that I made was my medical expenses and my work from home. So your medical expenses, how much you're going to get, all depends on how much you spend throughout the year. So with your medical expenses, you can claim back for doctor visits, all your prescriptions, dental visits, not routine dental now, other dental visits, podiatry visits, so things like that. There is a list of stuff uh, that you can claim for. I will leave a link below to the revenue page that will show you everything that is claimable. So like if your doctor is 60 euro, you can get 12 euro back off that. I think that's amazing. And I would not believe that sitting in revenue and not getting it back. A lot of people don't apply for these things because they think it's very complicated and they're not sure how to do it. So I want to show you how easy it is. And I want to make sure that everybody is getting their money back. So in this video, I am just going to concentrate on the medical health expenses and I will do work from home in a future video. Before I get into showing you the revenue uh, website and how we're going to do, just, just a few little quick things that you need to know. Number one, you need to be registered with revenue online. So you need to sign up and you need to get a password and they send that out to you in the post. So that is the number one first thing that you need to do. Number two, you need to have paid taxes to claim tax back. So the medical expenses is a tax back claim. So if you have not paid any taxes, you will not be able to make a claim. To make a claim, either yourself or your partner, if you're jointly assessed, needs to have paid taxes. So for example, if you paid 200 euro in taxes and you're making a claim for 300 euro in medical expenses you will only receive the 200 back so it is only allows you the amount that you've paid is what you can claim back now most people have probably paid a lot more than that in uh, taxes and you'll be able to claim your money back now how much you can claim back all depends on how much you can spend so if you have spent 500 euro, you can claim 20% of that back. So you would get 100 euro back in medical expenses, which is fantastic. Like who doesn't want that back? So with medical expenses, you can also go back and claim for the last four years, but you do need to have your receipts. So if you can ask your doctor or your pharmacy, if they have any backup for you, you can go and claim back for the last four years, which is something that I highly recommend you doing it if you haven't done it. And now this year, so revenue last year changed the way that medical expenses can be claimed. So you can now claim in two ways. You can now claim your expenses throughout the year as you make claims and they will readjust your tax credits and send it to your employer so that you will pay a little bit less taxes throughout the year. Or you can upload your receipts onto the tracker, save them till the end of the year and only process your claims then at the end of the year. And this is what I'm gonna talk about today because this is what I like to do. To me, it's like a little savings pot, which I think is great. 
And then also, if you do your um, statement of liability and for some reason you owe revenue taxes back, this medical expenses can be offset against it, which is great. So it doesn't feel like you're going to have to pay out. It can offset other taxes or other money due to revenue. So here is a tracker that I keep. So anytime I get a prescription or a receipt from the doctor, I fill it out here on the form. So I fill out the date, the details, the amount of the prescription or the doctor visit, and then 20% because this is what we can claim back. So this was for the year 2021. This was all my totals and it came to 12583. Now, I scan up all the doctor visits because these are individual receipts that I get and then the prescriptions I hold off to the end of the year. Um, I do get these throughout the year, I'll show you how this information covered. You will get these with your receipts. I hold on to these, I fill the information out on the form here and I put them in one of these poly envelopes. So this is one for 2022. So I keep these and I don't upload the prescriptions individually because like some people would have a lot of prescriptions. So what I do is at the end of the year, I go into my pharmacist and I ask them for a printout of all my prescriptions. So they can print you out a report. I say it's for my medical expenses claim and they are so nice and have no issue with it at all. And they print it out. So then I come home and I check off the, these uh, forms here off the list that the pharmacy has given me. Then at the end of the year, I upload that form onto the receipt tracker. So I will show you the receipt tracker um, now in a minute and you'll understand it then. But at the end of this, it'll give you a total and you can key that in. So instead of uploading every single prescription you can just do it one time which i think is such a huge saver so this form here i didn't have a little ticker but i've updated my form this year and now what i do is i put a little tick beside the ones that i've uploaded so i know they're up on the receipt tracker and they are ready for me to claim them I will leave a link to this medical tracker below because as you see, it really keeps things all together. It makes it seem really easy where you are, you've ticked what you've done, what you haven't done, and it keeps everything together. It gives you a place to hold things so that you don't lose any receipts because it is important. You need to keep your receipts for up to seven years for revenue. So I have two trackers. I have this one here. This one is if you don't have medical insurance. And there is another tracker here for if you do have medical insurance. So if you claim medical insurance, you can still claim medical expenses back, but only on the balance that you didn't receive out and back for. So you can put in the date, the details, the amount for the whole expense, the amount that you've claimed back, and then the balance. So you can claim 20% of the balance back, and this is the figure. These are the figures that you will fill in on the revenue tracker. You will see the space where you do this when I go along on the tracker and show you. So these two trackers will be linked uh, below in the one place, so you can choose which one that you need. So there you have just seen the tracker that I use and um, how I deal with prescriptions. So before we get into it, I'm just going to take a quick little minute to ask you that if you are enjoying this video so far, if you please subscribe so that you will get notified of any of my future videos, like especially if you're interested in the work from home video and cash stipends, hit that subscribe button. So now we're going to log on to Revenue and we're going to start then and we are going to upload our receipts. So I have a screen recording, I'll pop it up here and we'll get into it. So this is a website, this is not an app, but I am doing it on my mobile phone so it'll show you how easy this is to do. There is no excuses people for not playing with this money back. So here we are, we are logging in, we're going to www.revenue.ie and we are going to hit here my account and here you're going to fill in your details you're going to need your pps number your date of birth um, the password that you would have got when you set up your account 
we're going to tick I am not a robot and sign in. So here we are now on the main page and this is where you uh, will find the receipt tracker. So we have scrolled down and here we have it. There's the receipt tracker just there. So we're going to click in here and then we're going to choose the option to upload a receipt or add receipt. So here we are and we are going to upload. So I have already taken a photo with these. They are on my, um, my phone. I saved them as a PDF and I am choosing my PDF here and I am uploading it. So on this page now, you are going to key in the date of the claim. You are going to hit the drop down. You are going to choose help and then you are going to choose the subcategory, which would be general. So then further pops up, it comes down and you're going to fill in the amount. Now there's two boxes here. Have you made a claim for your health insurance? Yes or no? I haven't. So I am going to leave no ticked. If you have made a claim to your health insurance, you tick yes. And then another box will pop up and they'll ask you how much was claimed already and how much you are claiming for. So you're now going to hit submit. Now you have three options. So you can submit the claim and this would be the option where you are going to get it taken off your tax credits. Your tax credits will be adjusted and your employer will get a new tax credit for you. You can just hit back to summary and this is the option that I'm going to choose because this is where I am going to save it up to the end of the year. And the third option is to add another receipt. So if you've got a few receipts, you can hit add another receipt and just pop another one right in right after. And then at the end, when you've got all your receipts popped in, you can hit back to summary if you don't want to claim to the end of the year. So if you do want to make a claim, I can't physically show you here now because I am not putting a claim through right now. But you would hit submit claim. You come up with a list of your receipts. You tick the box beside them and you hit submit claim and that will go through to revenue. So guys, that is how simple, how simple it is to claim your taxes back. So there is no excuses for getting that money back into your household, back into your pocket to spend how you wish. Um, if you have any questions at all leave it in the comments below and i will get back to you as soon as possible i'll also leave links below to the revenue site um and also to a list of expenses that are claimable so all of that will be left below for you so thank you for taking time if you got to the end of this video please give a thumbs up leave me a comment even just to say hi or that you find this very helpful and do not forget to hit that subscribe button and come back to me another time take care everybody bye